Hey guys, welcome back to RPG Division. In this video I'm gonna give you a couple of tips on what to do and what not to do in Shadowrun Hong Kong. If you're a beginner for this series, you'll encounter plenty of problems. First of all, there is no tutorial. It's a slight one and everything you can actually read about tutorial, uh, read about the game, game to help you out is in this section over here okay that's basically how you do what you do and whatnot i'm gonna give you a couple of tips where the shops are that you need to pay attention for and uh what kind of things you can buy where so let's get to it in this area this your hideout area there are a couple of things you need to understand first of all there is a adept vendor over here by the name of spider shen here you can buy uh, chi magic and you can buy some melee stuff as well in this club over here when you enter you can get yourself a gun shop where you can buy body armor plenty of guns and whatever you like in these doors over here you will find a guy who will offer you two services one where you can buy med kits i always encourage you to supply yourself with med kits before every mission you're gonna need them because heal is only for the wounds wounds are only uh, damage loss in the previous round so combined damage of one round is a wound and you can heal up only one wound So in order to heal your characters back to a high HP, you need medkits with you and that's it. In order to use medkits out of combat, as I already did in my video, but I will show it again, you need to go into your backpack, press advanced medkit or normal medkit, doesn't matter, and click here. There will be activate button over here. That's how you heal out of combat. I can't uh, activate it now because I'm at full health. Also, this guy offers cyberware equipment. This is something that sh that you need if you're not a mage. If you're a mage, then you must not upgrade your dude with cyberware because you're gonna lose spell slots and your magic will weaken. If you're an adept, like I am with my dwarf, then I definitely encourage you to go and uh, do some cyberware implants, it's gonna help you a lot. You can also buy some tech stuff over here, like drones. Actually, no, drones are both over here. Over here with Reliable Matthew, you can buy drones at his place. At uh, tech place you can buy better decks. And uh, what else is there? As for the mages, you need to go over here in the parlor of five phases. And talk to crafty Xu. Xu, don't know. And then you will see an option to purchase different spells. Now, these things are not consumables, but you need to understand that if you want to summon a spirit or something, then you need to buy these consumables and equip them. This is where you can buy them, and to equip them, you need to go in your inventory over here. And there will be a spell section, gear section, item section and whatnot to help you out with it. There you can uh, switch stuff and add stuff and whatnot from your gear. As for your crew members, you can add stuff and remove stuff from their gear before you enter a mission. So don't worry about that. Here you can't access uh, gear for your crew. The one more thing uh, that I wanted to talk about is the actually the crew. 
Now I covered how you switch their gear only before a mission and here is how you upgrade them. You press this uh, arrow in the bottom right corner and you will see options over here. As you can see at level 4, level 3, level 2 they constantly uh, get additional points and they upgrade themselves automatically. Their armor goes up, their weapons go up, everything goes up. So you don't need to waste money on them unless you want to buff them additionally like buying them um, a different type of armor, better type of armor or whatnot. Their armor goes up with them, so you don't have to worry about it. Also the weapon damage and uh, skills and whatnot. But the only thing that you need for them are medkits, consumables if you spent uh, all the summonings on of one person. I'm not, I'm not sure if they replenish or not. And that's it. So basically you spend money only all on your main character and medkits. Cyberware as well if you're not a mage. And that's it. I already covered how to equip uh, Chi Magic. To deal with Chi Magic you need to buy it. But you need to be a willpower uh, dude. And uh, you need to equip it over here as well as spells over here. And you see this is Chi Magic. Magical resistance, killing hands, this is all she magic. And that's about it guys. Um, there are a couple of ways you can do every mission. Always bring a diverse, diverse crew. For example, the best crew that you can uh, have is one melee fighter or a tank with uh, some kind of shotgun or whatnot. Duncan, for example. Then you can have a Decker. Decker is a must. Rigor is someone uh, at some missions very good, at other missions he's mainly uh, fantastic because of his drone. Drones are very powerful and I'm gonna now show you where you can get yourself a Rigor that you don't need to hire. In your save boat you need to go down this hatch and talk to this guy called um, Rector and he will join you. Just keep talking to him and exhaust every option in the dialogue and that's it so basically i'm using those two and i'm using a shaman shaman is fantastic because he can heal and because he can uh, summon things those spirits that uh, shaman can summon are very powerful they can do nasty amounts of damage and they're very useful in the fights uh and that's about it can't think of anything else at the moment if you guys have any questions post in comments i will answer them gladly and see you guys soon